I'm a dude, and I'm inviting you to join me on a podcast about brews. Does that include stouts? Yes. Yes, of course it includes stouts. Like I was saying, join us every Saturday on the journey hey, hey, into... Hey, co- wait a minute. Do you, do you guys do anything about, like, IPAs? Yes. Stuff like that? Yes, of, yes, of, yes, we do IPAs. Okay. okay. It's, it, yes. Anyway... Join us on the Journey into Comics Network for Brews with Dudes. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey do you, have you guys ever, do you care if I bring some Zima on? Yes, I care if you bring Zima. Zima doesn't count. Zima, oh. Zima's, Dr. Dongo. Anyway, join us every Saturday for a podcast that delves into the craft brew world. Following, following the following journey into comics. 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 Network. 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 Production. Production. Traverse an alien anatomy Mundane speech pattern make me question all sanity The best in thought, it's a basic building blocks Need a beat that knocks to unlock what must be said Yes, I'm well read, but most importantly well versed Details What's up everybody? Welcome to episode 4 of Crucial Tunes I'm Chris Uh, that artist that you just heard is known as Anguish Uh, and their song Gut Feeling uh, I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about Anguish. Uh, they were submitted to me through a Facebook comment. Uh, we posted a while back asking for uh, for artists to submit a song um, from anywhere, anyone, any type of music, whatever. Uh, we wanted to just feature some underground unknown artists uh, on the top of each episode. Uh, so that's where the submission came from, was from Facebook. And it was a complete stranger submitting it. So if I get any of this information wrong, I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm just reading this from their Facebook. Uh, Anguish is members of a group called Dalek, a band called F- Faust. F- Faust? I- I- I'm sorry if I got that wrong. And another band called Fire Orchestra. Uh, and I believe these all three of these artists that uh, collaborated on this Anguish project are from different parts of the world, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if any of this information is incorrect, please, uh, if, and if someone from Anguish is listening to this, please correct me in the comments, because um, I do want you guys to get the uh, the exposure that you deserve. Uh, not that this show is going to get you much exposure, but we're going to try. Um, that's the whole point of this. Um, but uh, clearly, it's a hip-hop project. Um mixed in with I, I was listening to it some like free form jazz and stuff it the, the whole album i listened to uh is really solid but they specifically asked for the song gut feeling uh to be featured you can find their music at uh gut feeling is anguish dot um that's where i got this from uh also you can find their facebook page is facebook slash anguish music um, and I will link them uh, in the comments, and uh, so you'll be able to easily find them. But uh, I, I, I definitely recommend this. I, I'm really glad I checked it out. Um, I'm probably going to be listening to this album all day tomorrow. Um, it's just really cool experimental hip hop, like I said, with some like free form jazz. You can get some some kind of I, I don't even know what what instrument it is. It's some kind of horn saxophone, maybe. I don't I don't know. I'm bad at that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm rambling too much. Check it out though. It's good stuff. And, and I will play, uh, that song gut feeling at the end of the episode, the full song. So you can hear the whole thing. Um, like I said, this is episode four of crucial tunes. Uh, as you can probably tell already since Larry isn't chiming in and interrupting me or anything, uh, I am in recording this intro by myself. Um, so a little background on this episode, uh, we recorded this episode actually in October of 2018. So me and Larry had this idea for this podcast for for months. We've been talking about doing this, um, and we didn't know how we wanted to do it. Uh, but we just got together a few times uh, last year and got in front of some microphones and just shot some shit. And uh, we didn't record any proper intros. We didn't have a, a specific format or anything. Um, in fact, I think, I think when we recorded this episode, 
we were using this trashy like uh we might have even already used it in one of the episodes i'm not i'm not sure did we release our pilot episode possibly with the this like cheesy uh like oh, what do you call it royalty free metal album we found on spotify uh we were using like this royalty free metal song as our as our uh intro music and and after a couple of episodes recording like that we decided we were going to get away from that and uh start featuring an artist each week instead um so that's why I wanted to cut in and do this intro. So we still got our featured artist, and also because I don't think the intro actually recorded on this episode. It may it may not show up um, in the audio. Uh, I think you might get a little like you might hear it just a little bit in the background, but it's not going to be played full volume. But anyway, uh, so we recorded this back before there was a format for the show, and before we knew what we were doing, um, we got together with our bassist from our band. Uh, his name's Jack. And we just sat down and drunkenly, drunkenly talked about uh, like our favorite guilty pleasure albums or favorite guilty pleasure bands or songs or whatever. Just stuff that we know we probably shouldn't like, we probably shouldn't enjoy for whatever reason. Because it's not cool to like it, because it's cheesy, because it's not our normal style. But uh, I think we, we had a lot of fun discussing it and uh, I, I think it was a lot of fun to listen to. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy this, but we wanted to get this episode out before we forgot about it and before it became way, way too rele irrelevant because uh, some of the information that we put out in this episode is already a little dated. You know, we were talking about a show that we played and we were, I, I don't, there was one point that we actually mentioned uh, something that was coming up that's, it's, it happened months ago now. So uh, don't be looking for it. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess I just wanted to record this intro. Uh, to shout out our artist of the week, uh, which is Anguish and the song Gut Feeling. And I wanted to get my plugs in at the beginning of the episode because I know I didn't record them when we recorded this episode. Uh, so if you haven't already, follow us on Facebook or on any of our social media sites. We're just Crucial Tunes or Crucial Tunes Podcast, I think, everywhere. I don't know. This is a bad time for me to be doing plugs because I don't remember them. Um, Crucial Tunes on Facebook, you can find us. I'm sure that's probably where most of you found us to listen to this episode anyway. Um, yeah, let's see. Crucial Tunes. Yeah, we're we're at Crucial Tunes, I think, everywhere. I don't know. Find us. You know, you know what you know what we look like, you know what we sound like. Find us. Um, and as always, check out all the shows on Journey into Comics Network at journeyintocomics.com content every day of the week. I don't know how many times I can drill that home for you guys, but every single day of the week, Nate is putting out content. Um, and I, not all credit goes to Nate, although Nate is, you know, the pod father. He's the one that got us all together. Uh, so a lot of the credit goes to Nate, but a, lo a lot of credit also goes to the individual artists that do their shows. The, 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 honestly, the content on this network is amazing and it's all free. Uh, you guys don't know how lucky you are. <laughs> Am I selling it? Um, it's all free content, but if you wish, you can also subscribe to the Patreon to get exclusive content. Um, you can get episodes before they officially come out, you know, and you're throwing a couple dollars to the network because this stuff isn't free for us to make. I hope you guys realize that we buy this equipment. Uh, you know, this equipment is not cheap. Uh, the domain hosting is not cheap. I'm sure. I don't know. Nate handles all that stuff. But uh, that all has to get paid for from somewhere. And you notice we don't have ads in our shows. So uh, nobody is paying us to do this. The Patreon is what pays us to do this. Um, so chip in. It's only a couple dollars a month. Uh, do your part, you know. Journeyintocomics.com. Okay, well, without further ado, since I'm, on, I'm sure I already bored you to tears, uh, we are going to play Crucial Tunes Episode 4, which is titled Guilty Pleasures with... Myself, Larry Rosenko, and Jack Schwent. Uh, and please enjoy. Thanks. God, this music is lame. Yeah, but your chair sounds like it's farting. Could just be you farting. This music's not lame. What is it? Some stock ass like dick rock from the internet <laughs> yeah, it, we found, it actually is very lame we found a royalty free uh metal album on spotify we just wow. took a track and 
free to use, free to play. So it's like, okay, we'll just use this. It was lame. Yeah, I love it. I, I do love it too. But <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? So today we're talking to uh, our bassist, Jack. Hey, Jack. What up? He's here to join us in talking about... Uh, we decided for the theme of this uh, segment is going to be like guilty pleasures, like stuff that we know is really bad or embarrassing, but we still love it and listen to it a ton anyway. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys, but personally speaking, I have a ton of that. But, Me too. Well, it's a guilty pleasure in the sense that like I shouldn't be listening to it, but most right. of the stuff I'm not all that embarrassed about. Like, like just to kick off the list, Seven Dust is one of my... Ultimates. I, so many people hate Seven Dust, and but I've seen Seven Dust live three times now, and they're amazing every time. And I've I've just I've loved them since day one. I don't think I've even heard of them. Never heard of Seven Dust. Yeah, I'm sure they. You're got making a sound like you've know. never heard of Seven Dust. Like well, I get, I bet you, ninety five percent of the earth has not heard of Seven Dust. Were they not as big as I always thought they were? No, you were just really into new metal, but Seven Dust was never like a big band. I just saw it, it always a big seemed new metal like, band, but I, like, when, when, I guess when the world was into new metal, you know, in the late '90s, early 2000s, sure, I, I thought Seven Dust was kind of a household name, but I guess I guess when not, the uh, world was into new metal, it was like Corn, Limp Bizkit, that's it. Yeah, but like Godsmack, I'm also very uneducated on music. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like they're on the same tier as Godsmack, though, and that's everybody right. knows Godsmack. Right? Everyone knows Godsmack because of like Army Reserve commercials. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> I'm not the one who so far. Um, I love that song. But yeah, like, so that's that's my very first uh, and probably biggest guilty pleasure is Ooh. I I love Seven Dust. My biggest one. I, and I I'm not trying to like blow my load early and give you the big one, but that's like that's the first one that pops to mind when I, I think won't of start with pleasures. a big one, but I'll start with one that. I do like a lot, but I'm very guilty about it. I just have to pick which one because I have so fucking many. Jack, what do you listen to that you're either embarrassed to listen to, or you, like you don't you don't tell people that you listen mm. to it? I mean, you're telling people right now, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, probably uh, all those uh, Boyce Avenue covers. Oh my God. I get into those. I fucking hate the it. what? The Boyce Avenue covers. It's like this guy. They do, they do acoustic songs and uh, basically their own rendition of like pop songs, all sorts of different songs. Big YouTube thing. Oh, it's yeah. a YouTube thing? Okay. Yeah. They're huge is it, fuck on YouTube. Is it anything like, uh, what's it, Postmodern Jukebox? I don't know what that is. Either. Postmodern Jukebox is this band that, like, it's a YouTube band. They, they take songs, like pop songs, okay. uh, like, you know, top 40 kind of stuff, and they rewrite it in, like, this old, like, 30s jazz kind of oh you know what i've heard of them yeah 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 that's um, really cool though it's, it's it is good it's it's cool this i don't guy just takes pop songs and makes them into a different kind of pop song okay yeah, like just slows them down and it's and like it's it's called what them up a little bit well they're actually a, a band voice avenue is a band i'm not into that what's but, the what um, word are you are you saying voice 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 B-O-Y-C-E, I think. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's not like a word. It's, or, I mean, it's, it's probably the like fuck a street that? somewhere. I don't, some the shit. dog's tail is hitting the table. Oh, but it hit it. It was like, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> she hit the, the, the metal rails on the table are hollow. So when Rails. She hit it, it's kind of like, Rails. <laughs> <laughs> and boys, I, I'm going to have to look into it. I've never even heard of yeah, that before. Yeah, it's probably my biggest I think one. you're either going to eat it the fuck up and love it, or you're going to hate it. Yeah. I... Or some combination Hate of it. no, there's no. I don't think there's a middle ground. I can't fucking stand it, man. Somebody tried to sell me on along. Well, I guess it's not even along that same avenue. But somebody tried to sell me on this uh, puddles pity party. Have you heard of this? That oh, clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like America's America's Got Talent kind yeah. of thing. And he just it's all he does is he dresses up like a clown and he sings like these mopey, sad versions of pop songs. He yeah. did a a My Chem song and it's kind of he was tired, on. Actually. I think he was on that jukebox channel too. Oh yeah. yeah, I think he did a song with them. I, I could see that happening. Yeah, I could easily see that. Yeah, happening. I'm not. I'm not. But somebody, right yeah, this guy at work was trying to get me to listen to it. I, I was like, dude, what? There's no. I don't. I don't get the point of that. I don't. That's not. That doesn't do it for me. But is is that anything like this Boyce Avenue? No. No. Okay. It's like, so I'm I'm completely getting the wrong interpretation of this Boyce Avenue. I'll have to check it out after we're done recording. Or maybe I'll see if I can look it up right now. Cool. <laughs> but well, I don't know if I. I I don't know if it's copyrighted, so I don't know. If it's a cover. 
That's true, but they might have their cover. They probably like, do. Like they, they, yeah, I mean they're they per- tons of money. They're pretty big on YouTube, like for sure. Like, is it only YouTube, or do, is it? Do they have like an album out or anything? Well, the actual band, I think, a long time ago did. Okay, I don't know if they're still write music or not. I mean, but. they're really great musicians, for sure. They're all really talented. <coughs> I just I don't like what they fucking do at all. Boyce Avenue. Oh, they have. 300 oh no i'm sorry 11 million subscribers right like that's a fucking so, lot yeah they're they're doing okay <laughs> they're doing all right <laughs> let's see what's what's a good one what's a good one to listen to um i like the uh what's her name bay miller any of the ones that she's in because basically he grabs like a young artist or sometimes a popular artist but usually like a young and up-and-coming artist and they do like a duet ninety nine percent of the time. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. So yeah, anyone, any of them with Bay Miller, she's got some pipe. I don't even know who that is. Should I know who that is? No. no. Okay. Boyce Avenue Bay. How do you, how do you, she spell her E-A-E. name? B A E. Oh, I see her. I see her. Bay, like what? Like Bay. A young kid calls their <laughs> right. girlfriend. Pretty much. The. I'm going to try to keep this down and, and like out of the recording so we don't get busted for this. I don't think anybody's going to I don't think that. we will. But like that harmony shit they do is tight, but... Yeah, I, I'm i a sucker for vocal harmonies. Yeah, well, that that's, was, that's that what was gets sick. me, you know <laughs> what I mean? They do, uh, they do tons of harmonies and shit. I don't know who this girl is, but I like her voice. Mm-hmm. What is she from? Is she just a solo artist yeah. or something? I think she's like, I want to say she's she's either over the pond or up in Canada, I think. Mm. Guilty. <laughs> yeah, I, this isn't bad. This is It's not, not quite my thing, but I... I don't hate it for I sure. I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Larry's sitting there bored. No, just, like, no there's with... been times like we'd be at Jack's house and he'd just keep him going and going and going. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, I won't, I'm gonna fucking leave. <laughs> yeah, I'd never heard of that I didn't before. Have me tied down to the chair or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no. He, yep. That's the whole thing. What, how, you got one? I have so many. Well, get it, get it rolling. Uh, in sync. In sync. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, is that a guilty pleasure though? Because that's like, they're one of the biggest recording artists of all time, probably. Yeah. So, yeah, so? They're, they're for kids and... Oh, uh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. I guess if you had said Justin Timberlake, I wouldn't be shocked or surprised or anything. No, I'm talking NSYNC. I think... NSYNC. I like NSYNC more than I like any solo Justin Timberlake stuff. Damn. I, I don't know. Justin Dude, Timberlake NSYNC is the shit. NSYNC was fucking fire. Their Christmas album, the acapella version of Oh Holy Night. Have you ever heard that? Yeah. It's amazing. Their, their whole Christmas album is really good. <laughs> Everything they did was incredible. I saw them live one time when I was... 10, yeah, 11? I saw him when I was pretty young. Too. It was fucking insane. I never, I never it was saw him. so incredible. My sister got birthday tickets or something like that. And like the, I got to go along. Like the most crazy, intense dancing while singing this impeccable five part harmony at the same time. Do you think they were really singing it? Fuck at the yeah, because sometimes they, they would dancing. go off occasionally. Like that shit was real. They can stage that stuff too. You know, it's not yeah, that not hard. in like the nineties. <laughs> They can do that shit now. They could have yeah, done that dance. Yeah, they they like, absolutely could have. <laughs> no, they did it. Okay, I, I, I'm not gonna say it's impossible that they did it, but I'm just saying it. But they had so many incredible songs on every album. I I, I get that. I get that. I'm not I'm not mad at that answer. Mm-hmm. I don't That's know if one. it is as much anymore, but when I was younger, like high school and shit, my guilty pleasure pleasure then was uh, I could I could rock out to some Nickelback. That's the uh, kind of guilty pleasure yeah. that, like, when you're on a podcast talking about your guilty pleasures, you keep it in. <laughs> you know what, though? No, that's the whole Nickelback's point of this podcast. Yeah, you're, right, you're right. You're right. right, you're right. Like, that's a Nickelback, bad one. No, but Nickelback's first album when you were in high school. Nickelback's yeah. first album. If if there was going to be any good Nickelback, that was it. That I'm the weirdo who doesn't like any Nickelback. That I'm not first, saying it's. Listen to that yeah. first album again, no, for real. And me and Andrew always. It's, it's not we fantastic, always, but it's not bad. Yeah, me and Andrew would always. We were like, dude, if these guys screamed. Then they'd be fucking huge exactly, right and that's what I always thought. And, and they he they so got we'd signed just scream to over it. <laughs> their their first album, their first album was on Roadrunner. Mm-hmm. So when they came out, I was expecting them to like get heavier and heavier. But I think the I think they just saw the opportunity of hey, right. p- 
people are liking this. Right. Let's keep doing this yeah, instead. I, for me, that's what I got. They were like, worse. But. they get shit on constantly. Yeah, yeah by, they were one of the every, biggest bands in the like, world by everybody, but they're still huge. So huge yeah, yeah. And, and like, who was into it's them? Such a fifty-fifty. Uh, split, I think everybody that, that drinks Monster Energy drinks right. and drives a big truck. No, no offense, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> a big truck, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, you don't do Monster. I, I could see you being an energy drink guy, not in a douchey way. I just you seem like you like. Is there not douchey way? I don't even like like. Uh, I'm not a big soda guy to be honest. So okay, I'll, I mean I'll I'll slam a Red Bull when I'm fucking tired, but that's about it. I like it's the only like a daily. All the drinks we ordered last night had Red Bull in them, pretty Cause much. Because I, I was absolutely <laughs> dead last night. Uh, that was fun though. I went from tired to drunk, and that was well, about yeah, it. Nickelback, <laughs> Nickelback, I think gets shit on way more than they deserve to be. They're not, they're not a good band. I don't think they are. But but you can't deny that they can write like radio hits. Sure, it's, sure. it's happened a dozen times already. Yeah. And and they're some of the biggest radio hits that have come out in the last fifteen years. Right. Okay. That's but fair. but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's the same um, the same people that listen to like Five Finger Death Punch and stuff are that's Nickelback's crowd. With that's the military. Yeah yeah a lot of military <laughs> a lot of a lot of people that like. Wear military stuff, even though they were never in the military. A lot of those. Those guys who were like the the type like T-shirt with the cursive that says like "I love my wife" with like the affliction <laughs> print. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's the worst. Ed Hardy. <laughs> it's like okay, yeah, I I love that you love your wife. You gonna put it on a T-shirt? I'm like that's weird. Airbrush T-shirts. <laughs> I think I got a photo of Sammy bought me one of those shirts. It's not oh, the, no, it's not the script like that. But uh, so that's. That's tight though. Or it's like, <laughs> it's, yeah, I think it's like I heart my awesome wife or some shit. I'm gonna get it. I love my wife. Too. I feel like every wife wants to get their husband that shirt. Right. It's just depending on whether or, or not the husband wears it. Right. And this is and like, this, you don't this, wear it, you don't fucking love me. Yeah. Like, God Christ. This is also, also after she got me a cool story, babe. Now make me a sandwich T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that degrading ass. Like, yeah. She bought it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. As long as she bought it. That's fine. I didn't wear it. My, my next guilty pleasure, this is one that's not going to surprise Larry at all. Coal Chamber. I think your guilty pleasure is not shitty new metal. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Actually, those are the, my only two new metal that I got okay. on my list right now. Okay. Coal Chamber. Coal Chamber. Uh, their first two albums only. I, I, anything after that, I, I really lost touch with them. But I still will rock out. To, there's, they have this song called, uh, I, I think it's called I. And it was on their first album, I think self-titled album. Am I getting any of this right? I might I might not have any of these facts right. Oh, but, there really is a t-shirt with the I love my awesome wife on it, and you are wearing it in the picture. <laughs> oh, and recently, too, because you got the beard. Well, yeah, but he didn't got no hair in that. That's true. That's true. Jack has very that's long a, hair. That's not... A, that, for, of all these cheesy like wife it's t-shirts, terrible. that's not that's not a bad one, and it, it's like a bright blue too. So it's not like a douchey color, like trying to look cool. It's 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 more ironic of a gag. on purpose. It's more of a gag than yeah. anything. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's ironic. Well, those guys who get them to like make it look like an Armani Exchange shirt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's too much. And that's that's fucking asinine. <laughs> but yeah, Cole Chamber, uh, their first two albums, I still love. Like we when we go on road trips, me and Ashley will. Uh, that's like something I'll throw on is just a Cole Chamber album, and I'll just fucking I'll be banging on the steering wheel the whole way. It's, yeah, it's great. I love it. Yeah, one of my more recent ones is uh, Sleeping with Sirens. I can party. fucking relate to that. I yeah. no. I don't What's know if the I other know one? any. Long hair Mexican guys in it. Pierce the veil. Pierce the veil. I'm a, that's a big guilty pleasure of mine for oh, sure. So, uh, so when when it's like screamo. It's like yeah. the the scenester music for the high school kids, but like the scenester music for the high school kids today. No. Yeah. Okay. Like it's targeted for scenester high school kids and being a 31 year old grown ass man. Right. Being in a Pierce the veil, <laughs> something I don't say a lot. I, I, well, here's, here's the forum for I it. I like Pierceville quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Me and Andrew were talking about that at Burger King the other day. Uh, we were in the parking lot, and he goes, here, I'm going to put this on. Tell me if you like it. Because he seemed kind of like, oh, I don't want anyone it's to know. It's kind of his guilty pleasure, And uh, too, he put it on, and I'm like, dude, this is Pierce the Veil. He goes, oh, do you like Pierce the Veil? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. He goes, okay, cool. Like, and we, we sat in the shit. parking lot, it's Pierce, Pierce the Veil for like 15 minutes. That's funny. I, I, uh, if we're going like heavy stuff... You've only done heavy stuff. I and well, <laughs> I guess heavier than new metal. I don't, I don't know. What's well, heavier than new metal? Uh, no. Metalcore and deathcore and stuff. I like I like uh, 
the world we knew. I know a lot of people hated them. I don't know who that is. Uh, Me either. It, <sighs> I'm gonna pl I'm gonna play a clip of this, and you'll see exactly why most people hate them, and why I should be embarrassed to hate to like them. But I I like them. Okay. Uh, but like along along the other like metalcore lines, it dies today. I know that's a band that I'm not supposed to like. They I sing like that. Uh, that one song. Uh, what's that one? It dies today song that was huge. Uh, Trinity of for Modern Romance. I don't know, maybe no the Radiance. Oh, okay. That's a fucking banger. <laughs> okay, the world we knew. Oh, yeah, I hate this. Well, give it a second. It gets worse. Oh, God, yeah. You heard of this? I like this a lot. Still? <laughs> yes. Hey, man. Cool. Oh, sorry. Oh, so fucking sorry. I love it, man. I hate this. <laughs> exactly. And now I hate you. That's like, this fine. is fucking trash. <laughs> I like. Um, it. Yeah, good, good thing we're uh, we're all pretty close because this can, this could <laughs> lead to some hard like, judgment. You know, this is bullshit music. I don't even play music with you anymore. Right. Um, I really like soundtracks to uh, like late '90s teen movies. I can't blame you there. Like, I, uh, you know what? Okay, go go ahead. We'll um, like, can't hardly wait. Ten things I hate about you. Sure. The music in those movies. Fast forward a couple of years. That's actually on my list. Is uh, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Have you seen that movie? Cat mm -mm. Cat Dennings and Michael Sarah, back before like Michael Sarah was like huge, huge. They were they Wait, made... was he ever huge, huge? Yeah, like, he's like, he was a big actor for a and while. Super bad, and then he did a bunch of like hipster ass movies. And what does he do now? He's got a uh, he's got a new Netflix show. Oh oh good, that's probably awesome. I think I think that's him. You know that scene and this is the end where he's like he's like doing, doing coke, coke and, and he's just drinking a, drinking a juice him, box. And he has a juice box. <laughs> That's so fucking awesome. See, you know what? That that makes me wonder. Like, I know that's super self-deprecating humor, but I wonder if... Because they really paint him as, like, a piece of shit in that movie. Sure. And I wonder if he really is a piece of shit. Because, like, a I lot of like those character kind of movie, portrayals yeah, were just, accurate, you yeah. know? I, thought I feel so, like anyway. if he was really like that, he wouldn't have wanted to be in a movie. Maybe. Or maybe he just knew the movie was going to be huge and it would boost his numbers. Yeah. Which it, was, movie, it wasn't actually movie all for that like huge. 12 minutes. It wasn't all that huge, but... And it was a good movie, though. But yeah, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. It's a movie. It's it's like a teen rom com, okay. uh, with Cat Dennings, and Michael Sarah, and like he's in a in an indie band, and like so it's like they're go show hopping one night, and they go see a bunch of bands and stuff. And the the soundtrack I thought was great. It's like a bunch of, but it's a bunch of like indie rock that it's, I should also probably not be into like vampire weekend. Is I love it. vampire weekend. Okay, good, good. I like vampire weekend, but I know they're like, they're no, corny vampire indie rock. Vampire Weekend is a really cool band. For I sure. like them a lot, but that whole check out the Nick and Nora soundtrack is, is, is excellent. It turned me on to a lot of bands. Um, and then while we're talking, Michael Sarah, I'm going to roll that into Scott Pilgrim. Cause the music on Scott Pilgrim was actually really good too. And that move, that whole movie is actually pretty sick. Yeah, I don't think that needs to be guilty. No, I, think that, I, think I know it's it's got good. a cult. I know it's got yeah. a cult following, but I just don't know is Michael Sarah somebody I'm supposed to like? You know, oh. uh -huh. maybe. And like is I know, to you? well, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. Call. Like that whole that whole Maybe Scott Pil the whole thing yeah. about Scott Pilgrim. Like, is that is it actually is it cool? I hate that movie. I don't like much th stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but is it is it cool to like? I know it's got a cult following, but is it actually cool to like Scott? Who Pilgrim? gives a shit? Do you like? Something? That's my point. Is it that? That's what makes it a guilty pleasure. I always imagined it's not really that cool. I know there's yeah. a bunch of, a bunch of people like diehard fans. True, but and that, well, that's that's what a not, guilty pleasure is. Right, it's exactly. What you think other people are going to think of you? Exactly. When you right, say that's it, why. You know? I, <laughs> like the but way you guys looked at me when I said Nickelback. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I understand Nickelback. I get it. Not for me, but I get it. I like this song I grew up a lot. It, and it's a, definitely a guilty kind of thing where I shouldn't be like, oh, hey, I love this song. But you ever heard this song? Who's this? Jessica Riddle. Jessica. I've never heard it's of Jessica like Riddle. Some 90s chick pop. but. I that, that sounds song like a, every fucking day. That sounds like the theme song for like a, a like Felicity 80s or family something. sitcom. 
uh, not 80s, like a late 90s family sure. sitcom. But uh, no, that's from 10 Things I Hate About You. Okay. Like um, Reba. That's like Reba. Reba. Shit like that. That could have been uh, actually, the Reba theme Actually, uh, sitcom themes are something I think are phenomenal. Er- early 90s sitcom themes. Um, the Cheers theme song is one of, like, it's not a guilty thing, but it's just one of my favorite, not theme songs, but just songs, period. It's good. It's an amazing song. It's, it really is great. Um, Seventh Heaven uh, theme song, very guilty. Love it. How'd that one go again? Seventh Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know all the fucking words to that. But I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> um, you know what? That, that song that you just played reminded me of a guilty pleasure I've got on my list. Um, just because of the... I don't know. The voice sound maybe reminded me of it. I really like the song uh, If I Die Young by the band Perry. I hate that song. I... I but... Oh, actually... I, I, I'll, I can get into that too, man. I'm not I was a country say, that's guy. A, that's a very Jack thing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a country guy. I hate modern country. But that song by the band Perry and then uh, Lady Antebellum, I need you, need you now. Mm-hmm. I the harmonies in those songs. Yeah, and and well, just the, see, the, me- the melodies. For yeah, stuff. exactly. That's the why me- I like country too. The melody in uh, If I Die Young and the harmonies in Need You Now just, just get me every time. I, I sure. love it. I love it. But sure. I I don't like admitting that I love it. <laughs> Actually, I think we talked about that on T Pig, the three of us. I think we yeah. talked about that song specifically. The um, lady I talk country song. came up. I yeah. talk about yeah. country on podcasts a lot because I like it. This is I, this makes literally every single episode of every podcast that me and you have ever done together where we've talked about new metal, and I think country have also has also come up on every single one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What else? Um. Some modern country, like I, I, everyone knows that like '90s pop country is like something I'm very, 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 right. very into. Um, there's a lot of modern country that I think is great. What's that song? Yeah, it took a while for you to even turn around to start um, admitting it, but no, we we um, were on our way to Franklin House to play a show, uh, and we were passing. Jack was driving his, I think he had his red little red car at the time, and we're passing back and forth a bottle of whiskey, listening to country. Driving yeah. on back roads to Valpo is super that's, appropriate. Uh, that's the most hillbilly thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, if only we were in Big Red, dude. We were in Little Red. <laughs> is that what you call your truck, Big Red? It is. Now. Like, call I'm it. gonna call it. <laughs> I'm now. gonna call it uh, Donna Pinciotti. <laughs> Donna, because she's also Big Red. <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh, um, what yeah, is this I song? I can't think. It of has the name this of it. fucking chorus. And this is as far as I can take this. <laughs> I don't yep, remember yeah, anything about it. It's some it. guy. He's like racially ambiguous. Um. Oh. So any country song ever? No, country is white. Oh, oh! I thought you meant like yeah, he's like racistly F- ambiguous, no, racially like, ambiguous. Like I get you. See, I mean, you're I like get you're you. maybe some kind of Pacific Island is or it? yeah. What the is that? Is um, I'm gonna sound ignorant now. I just saying didn't. this, but is it is it uh, Kane Brown? Kane Brown. It is. Kane yes, Brown. it is Kane Brown. I was gonna say I. It, it, it's featuring some chick. Some chick, dude. but the chorus in the song you hear it, you're like, oh fuck. I only vaguely know who that guy is, but I've seen pictures of him, and I don't know if he's just white or not. It's like Tiger Woods. Yeah, yeah. he's. Yeah, he's, I think he's some sort of mixer. But like um, said, or maybe he's know. just got. And a now real I good can't fan. even like. Obviously, this melody can't be that good if it can't come to me right now. No, well, I think we're just oh, it's over, great. overthinking. No, her. but dude, it's a great <laughs> song. It is really a great song. <clears throat> I'll figure it out. Really um, quick. also that uh, there's this Kenny Chesney song that I think is a great song. Why did I know that it was Kane Brown? Because you like country, probably. I, do, I don't. You I live in the world. You have dogs. You drive a truck. I don't drive a truck. I drive a GMC. And, well, I drove. No, I don't drive a GMC. What I had. A, I had an Envoy. I forget what I have now. I, I Expedition. It's a Ford Expedition. It's a truck. SUV. It's a what if. Mm-hmm. Dude, that melody is fucking insane, dude. And the the lady artist in it is Lauren Elena. All right. Mm. I love Justin Bieber. Justin That's Bieber. That's not a guilty pleasure, I don't think. Um, I mean, if it's yours. Um, the amount that I like Justin Bieber's music might be kind of guilty, because I think... I, I listen <laughs> yeah, to it a fucking lot, but... <sighs> Cause it's good, man. So much of it is so All right. good. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll count that. I'll count. It counts. How about like, uh, you listen to any like Icelandic indie rock, like, like Cigaros or? It's embarrassing about that. I it, there's a specific band that I like, uh, called Mum, M U M, 
and they it's really like uh, everybody I've showed it to they think it's really off putting but I fuck I love it yeah. like because of the, of the the woman that sings in it is like has this really super high pitched whiny voice and like mm. oh you know what speaking of high pitched whiny voices uh melt banana you know, like you guys like melt, melt banana yeah melt banana melt banana is weird it's like noise rock at all no, no. I don't like noise rock. <laughs> <laughs> No. You kids into noise rock, but <laughs> no guy. <I'm> uh, <laughs> I like noise rock. Uh, like we we so I don't want to trash any bands that we've played with because I don't want anybody to take this personally or anything. But there was a noise rock band that I know nobody else in our band enjoyed. I fucking loved. I was standing right up front watching. I remember them. that I band, was, dude. I loved it. It was so fun. Like I I love the whole concept of noise. It's just. It doesn't have to be good, you know what I mean? It's, seldom is. <laughs> it's just I, I don't know. There's something about it. It's it's like I just don't do it. I don't. It's, there's no way. It's enjoyably abrasive. I love which how, is why I like grindcore too. You know. I love how you're into all that, but then you're also like such a sucker for the harmony. Oh and yeah, the, I love and harmony. the melodic shit. You know? I, I just, that's I, like those are so far. There's, there's, I feel like that's why field, like uh, you love like melodic hardcore. Because it's both, yeah. It's aggressive, but it's catchy. A hundred percent. I would. I could get. I could get behind that. What's the melodic what? hardcore band in your? In get your by. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for that one. Um. Uh. Come back, kid. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Or like even like Shy Halud, they're they're like a mathy melodic hardcore. Or like or metalcore. Um. Like Kill Switch Engage. I think my dogs are about to poop down here. They better not. You want to pause it? No, it's all right. I'll we'll just keep an eye on them. Um, yeah, but yeah, like kill switch engage. Are we are we back to guilty pleasures, or are we trying no. to talk about melodic hardcore? No, I'm, talk, I'm not talking about metalcore because it's the same thing. Oh, okay. It's like it's catchy and it's heavy. Yeah, I'm not I'm not guilty about how much I love kill switch engage. I fucking love kill switch. I was engage. gonna say I, I was. There's nothing wrong with kill switch. I don't. Think. Um, I never got into Metallica is a big guilty pleasure of mine. That's. Uh... I fucking love Metallica. It's like saying the Beatles are a guilty pleasure, though. It's not. Is there a, a band that you're ashamed that you don't like? Uh, Metallica. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, um, most, most classic rock, like yeah, uh, Zeppelin, Floyd. Rock. I don't fucking like it. I hate and it. Pink Floyd is the worst to me, and I know everybody in the world loves Pink Floyd, and everybody always start gets... getting hate mail, dude. I know. They always get pissed when I say I hate Pink Floyd, but I fucking hate Pink Floyd. Thank um, But yeah, dude. I can't. Should we pause it? Wait for him. Should sure. we just keep rolling? All right, we'll, we'll, scroll back and edit. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Jack had to take a phone call, but we're back. I'm back. We're back. I'm back. Yeah, we were just me and Larry were talking off air, and I should have just kept it rolling because we actually named some good stuff. But mm -hmm. uh, we were just mentioning uh, Avenged Sevenfold. I hate Avenged Sevenfold, but they have that one song. We we were just listening to it a little bit. Un yeah, Unholy Confessions. I wish I could be the one. I love that song. That is a jam. That song is fucking whack, dude. But God, that's... I hate that song. That song's great. The band is terrible. I hate... They're fucking big. Yeah, Like, they're super big. Yeah, and they... They're big in the same way that Five Finger Death Punch is. That's another another band that goes right in that same category. But military yeah. military metal? Yeah. 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 That's yep. up for an actual genre of music. That I wonder, has that been coined yet? Um, I just did it. <laughs> Copyright. Military metal. Five Finger Death Punch, Godsmack, <laughs> and uh, somehow Three Doors Down. They're not metal, but they are military metal. Well, so that's those. They're very close to that border of like that radio metal, you know, like like Seether and uh, I don't know, Saliva. So and, it's all these bands I fucking hate. Yeah, Shine remember, Down. Uh, they're all they're all that same category to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Monster Magnet. Monster Magnet. Yeah, <laughs> I saw Saliva once live. It was ugh. I just recently saw Shine Down and actually, Godsmack. I remember I you're like, Jack's like, I'm gonna see you in Shine Down and Godsmack and think like, what? <laughs> why? Fucking yeah, why? why? You Who are you with? What are you doing? I, you know what though? I saw Shine Down a couple years ago. They they were at a festival that we went to and they, Shine Down killed it. They were good. Yeah, they, I, I I didn't enjoy the music, but they yeah, knew how to play to yeah, their crowd. Were, you know, they, they were, were tight. They they sounded yeah exactly. They they were on. You know, mm -hmm. not that I like their music, but they can play it. 
you know. Yeah, if it's your music, you should be able to play it. <laughs> but not everybody there's, can. Yeah, there's as, plenty of people that yeah, can't. <laughs> as, as demonstrated by our show on Saturday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The same, the same songs we've been practicing for two years. We just bombed them on Saturday. Yeah, but shit happens. It happens. But they were they they were on. And you know what? That's the thing too. It's frustrating about like arena bands like that. How do you know they're actually playing that stuff? You know, there's no way of knowing. It could be just piped in because they all walk around with their wireless packs on. Their guitars could just be completely turned off, and we, you would never know the difference. True. Even the drums, like. You have to imagine that the drummer is playing because you can hear the drums from the state. You know, they're, they're I, I don't know. It's, I don't know if I'm making my point or not. Nope. Making my point downtown. One of my favorite songs of all time. Is that a guilty pleasure? Is, nope, not guilty. Is not embarrassed at all. No. That's, 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 He's that's loud a, and proud about that Because that's a banger. <laughs> and that Michelle, that Michelle Branch song is probably my favorite song ever, ever written, period. Yeah. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, you jammed the shit out oh, of that. Oh, my God. Well, it's good stuff. That, I, I, I get that. That's good. <sighs> that song is the most amazing thing. What else? I, I, need, I want to blow through the rest Ooh, of the Ooh, ignorant ass rap. Like modern rap. Uh, oh, I was going to say uh, in the mid 2000s, there was that streak of like that. Um, oh, God. What do they call those groups? Um, like, you remember that song White Tea? Yup, in my white tea. Yup, yep, yep, in, in my, my white tea. tea. Yeah. I bang in my white tea. I slang. I love it. I fucking That's a great love song. It. Is it? Yeah, uh, it's yeah. A, it's a terrible song. Yeah, well, that song it's made a, them a billion dollars, so it can't be that bad of a song. And you know what? They're already broke or you dead. You don't know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I guarantee it. I looked it up. <laughs> oh, well, I like that uh, song. Was that Dem Franchise Boys? Dem Franchise Boys? Dem I remember Franchise there was a... Uh, oh, I can never get into that. There was a dodgeball tournament uh, at uh, duck! my high school. No. What's she eating? She's eating one of Mark's toys. We were There was a dodgeball tournament at my high school, and there was these dipshit kids, like these football pricks yeah and their name of their dodgeball team was dem franchise boys and i thought oh, it was no, super tight <laughs> <laughs> oh my god motherfucker i wish i thought of that like they didn't yeah. even put a spin on it or anything they just straight up I call do, themselves dem franchise in. boys <laughs> i do love <laughs> i do love that ignorant like the stupid like, rap i like Michael that pump and yeah i was gonna say uh gucci gang i fucking love Dude. that song man <laughs> but that's uh, not, but that song is huge, so that's not really a guilty pleasure either. Kind of is. It is. If you're I was gonna say. It. I was gonna say guys like us that are in the music crowd that we're in, we shouldn't be listening. To no, music. I like it, <laughs> but it's good. I love it. I'm, I'm gonna stick with. I the, love you it. Shouldn't be listening. To. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. That's a guilty pleasure of mine because I hate Kanye and I hate Lil Pump, but I love that song. I love Lil Pump. I'm. I'm, I'm. I just heard that song for the first time, like the other day. It's, have you heard that one yet? Mm-hmm. Kanye and Lil Pump. It's that music video where they're wearing like the big, giant, boxy suits. Jack doesn't have a Facebook. I will not go out of my way to hear that either. <laughs> you should go out of your way to watch the music video because it's insane. Yeah, it's like it, it, it's it reminds so fucking me, weird. <laughs> it reminds me of like a late '90s Busta Rhymes video. The cool is like all the hype Williams videos and shit. I don't know if he did those. Hype Williams did a bunch of other videos, but those Busta Rhymes videos were crazy. Like, give me some mo. That video is that video is nuts. Remember that ludicrous video where he had the big ass hand? Was it hands or heads? I don't remember that. No, it was the Foo Fighters video where he had the big ass hands. I don't remember that either. There was a ludicrous video. I want to say he just had a giant ass head, and it was really awesome. Hmm. I could see that. I love Ludicrous. Ludicrous is okay. Uh, what's that fried chicken? And- Chicken and beer. Chicken is it just chicken and beer? It's not fried chicken and beer. That was one of them. I don't know. I don't know. That was this is decent. Though. Chicken and beer. It's tight. That was back when he was good. Uh, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. I yeah. There's a couple of good Soldier Speakers Boy songs. Going Hammer by Soldier Boy is fucking fire. Um, and Kiss Me Through the Phone is fire. Uh, what's the what was the? Oh my god! Not not crank that. That was his like big. That's right, what right. that's what yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was the what was the next one? Yeah yeah bitch that one. The one with like it had. The steel drums in it. God damn it. Ooh, Sean Kingston is one of mine, too. Sean Kingston. Dude, yep. Sean Kingston's good. Uh, now I, I got to look at the Soldier, Soldier Boy, Boy song. song. Um, it's not Crank That. It's not Ya. And it's not uh, the other Pretty shit. Boy Swag. This doesn't have the steel drum at all. I was thinking of Crank That has the steel drum. I like the song. I do too. I'm good. I love this shit. This Soldier Boy's sick, man. This right here is my swag. 
fucking love this. It's not good. I know it's not good, but I love it. Pay attention. It doesn't even rhyme. It doesn't fit. It's, just, it's the noise rock of yeah. rap. <laughs> it's really poorly written, but I, I love, love this, it. Man. I love I love shitty rap. Yeah. Oh, I do. I, I love shitty it. rap. I love if if I'm gonna listen to rap, it's gonna be like underground hip hop. Okay. Like the the deep tracks. I'm man. listening to like the I can't stand as that. high above the ground, well known, horrible rap that I can because I love it. How about Ray Race Drummer? I, I, oh yeah. I like, like them. Ear drummer spelled backwards. I like them. I like that a lot. Uh there's you know what speaking of underground rap, I I, I wanna give a shout out. I, I'm gonna have to look up what their name is again. Uh they're a local, a semi-local rap group. It's a rap duo. Uh, they're playing in Valpo tonight. I mean, we're by the time this comes out, this this show's going to be long over. Um, but fuck, what are they called? I feel really bad that I don't remember off the top of my head now. All yeah. right, yeah. Keep you, you don't have to. Op Sav, Op Sav. I think they're from like uh, Tinley or something like that. But they're okay. they're what was the, what was the really good. We, it's not a guilty pleasure. They're really good. What was it? We played with a guy that was pretty good too. I'm trying to think of who it was. Like a rapper. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you talking about that show at the Fallout we played? Yeah, the Drowning Show. No, the Kublai Khan Show. That was the Drowning Show. Yeah, it's, that like that DIY space show in Chicago in Pilsen. Was that one? That's the only it? time we've ever played the rapper. It must have been the. Uh, that would probably be um, oh, fragile soul maybe. Oh yeah, fragile soul we played, but that was that was kind of like a weird indie hip hop almost because they had like a Kajon Kajon Kajon. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, man. I'm white. I think my wife's home. Oh, DMX. DMX. Oh, I, I, mm, this is gonna drive me nuts now that I can't. It's a Chicago rapper, I, I think. It, it, you're not thinking of that fragile soul, are you? The the guys with the ca- cajon. Uh, give me a second. I, I'll, I'll pull it up. You guys keep talking. I'll pull it up. Where was the show? I'm, I know it wasn't local. It ha- it had to be that one at Fallout. It had to be that one at Fallout. I think that's the only show we played with a rapper. Um, and that was, the Ewok. Yeah, Bear Coon the Ewok. Was it the Ewok? I think it was. Dude, the Ewok sick. He was, yeah, he was so really good, good live. Hey. So good. Yeah, and I got a hey. Yeah, we're recording. It's all right. It was, uh, yeah, the Ewok. I think that's exactly Hi, Scarlet. Hey, Scarlet. Let's uh, talk for a second. What's your favorite song? You don't want to talk? You know, this actually goes along with Guilty Pleasures because one of the songs that she's been listening to a ton lately uh, that I actually kind of like is that Havana. I don't even remember. Oh, drop my keys on Havana. the table. Yeah. Havana, ooh, na, na. Are those who's that for? Mine. Oh, well, what? I mean, you could have one. No, I'm I don't. Show you. Oh, those are really cool cookies. Scarlett got these really cool cookies from Gold Star Cafe in in Lowell. Uh, oh, that place is tight. Yeah, I g- give a free shout out to Gold Star Cafe because they're really awesome. They got good food. They're good good cinnamon rolls in the morning, and they've got these really cool cookies right now for Halloween. Uh, they have a. They, they have the okay. poison the poison apple cookie that looks like from Snow White, and a sugar skull like Day of the Dead cookie. Cool, they did, did a nice job with these, and they look delicious too. Fancy but, cookies. But yeah, Scarlet likes that Havana Unana, right? Oh, what's that Disney song? Moana. Oh yeah, uh, how far I'll go. I like how I automatically Disney's me. massive, right? But we all knew that exactly <laughs> what you talking about. Every, every incredible. Disney movie is front to back to song, 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 song. Right. But that is such a great that is a good one. song. That is a good one. Yeah, I think the Moana, that might be a good that, present We listened to that soundtrack a ton. That's, that's a like, good one. Like, start to finish, we listened to it a ton. It was good. Ashley, what's a what's a guilty pleasure artist for you that you, you don't like to admit that you're into? <laughs> Well, what's I guess the guilty pleasure would be Die Antwoord. Okay, yeah, Die Antwoord. I'll take that. I saw Ugh. them uh, at so a festival terrible. one year. It was, so it was fucking weird. <laughs> like, it was super weird. What, they got this music video where this guy, he's wearing just, like boxers, and he has a boner, and oh my there's a bunch of rats. Yeah, and, what happened? 
Happy. People pull their teeth out and shit. What? Yeah, I know. They chewed up Marky's toy. We actually we talked about that already. <laughs> um, Confirmed, though. It did happen. Yep, it In case happened. you were wondering. Yep. Real. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't just radio magic. It really happened. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I, well, I think we're rolling up to the end of the, yeah, the I'm running, podcast. I'm running I'm out. To, um, uh, I guess the last thing I, I wanted to mention, um, the last thing on my list that I haven't talked about already was uh, I was really into that, like, mid to late 2000s like folk revival with the Mumford and Sons sure. and the Lumineers and stuff. Okay, hate Mumford and Sons. I, I hate newer Mumford and Sons. When Once they started getting more and more produced, it just it fell off for me. But their first album, uh, uh, Sigh No More, sure. so good. It's it's like, it's it's not big studio produced, you know? it's it's They did it themselves. They wrote everything themselves and it sounds so good. They're, they're, they're newer music, like you could tell some big big record company got a hold of them and said this is marketable right now and we're gonna sell it that's what happened with their first album no their Their first first album was fucking huge no no listen to their first album again Yeah, and think about that that big first single they put out was like the biggest song ever i don't think you're thinking of the same one as their first single. what was their first single their first single was uh little lion right and that song was big as fuck listen to it again it's very minimal it's very minimal yeah sure yeah Yeah, it's minimal but i mean some crazy producer found that goes, This is marketable, this will be fucking huge. I know I get that, I get that. But what I mean what I mean when I say like they they built they started building it out. What they started overproducing their albums, adding string sections and adding all this big stuff. It used to just be a three piece band. Right. And everything on that first album is played by a three piece band. Right. That's what I mean. And that's okay. when they were good. And what the same the... thing with the old Lumineers. The first the, the self titled Lumineers album is fantastic. It was right around that time. Um what was that? Uh, that Jewish like rapper, Mas Yahoo, Mas yeah, Yahoo. Mas Yahoo. I fucking love yeah. Mas Yahoo like a lot. It, Mas it Yahoo's was, cool. It was kind of a similar thing. Like his, I, I was so into his first stuff, and then mm-hmm. like it just got like he became huge. Right. The same thing happened with. Uh, it's happening right now. With have, have you guys heard of Judah and the Lion? They they got a couple of songs right now on the radio that are real big. They they have like this uh, take it all back. Have you, you haven't heard take, take it, it all, all back, take, take it all? Back. Yeah, that's Judah and the Lion. Okay, really? Yes, I hate that song. If you listen to so their first album was almost just like straight folky, like a, a ton of banjo and mandolin and stuff. Not any of that hip hop stuff that they're right. putting in it now. But that was their first studio album. If you go even back before that, the two EPs they put out before that, fucking gospel. <laughs> It's wow. nuts. Yeah, you can find it on YouTube still, but man, they've done a, a real good job of trying Burying to sweep it. that under the rug. <laughs> it's really hard to find nowadays. But so I, their, their, their EPs are their guilty players. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, that's, I got into them when they were they had the gospel EPs because I, I used to play in a church band, and like I, I had a big appreciation for people that could do that stuff well, you know. Sure. And and uh, here's here comes the harmonies again. You listen to those first two EPs. Some of those harmonies it's seriously like make me want to cry. How beautiful they are! Oh, I got a good one. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Switch foot. Switch foot. <laughs> <sighs> Damn. Okay, I can see. Yeah, that's a good guilty pleasure. Nah, I, I like Switch foot though. I do too. Oh, oh and like a uh, like David Crowder band. Like David Crowder band's and great. Shit, like this, like multi-billion dollar worship music yeah it's the most immaculate sounding music in the world yeah and david crowder it sucks but like they're so good at it and you hear it and you're like oh christ i saw david crowder at cornerstone one year and it was incredible i saw him, i saw him live once he was too. so incredible i've never heard of david crowder before it's just a worship band. which is yeah. it's crazy because i was in a worship band for yeah he was he was like, like the years. guy during that time never heard of yeah him. yeah it was definitely that same time too weird you know like, all the all like, the praise and worship songs we used to play when we were kids. Like those songs don't get played anymore. At I church. know, I know. Which they were like a staple for so, so long. Those those songs. What made my worship band unique was I I went to a Catholic church, so those songs never got played at church ever. ever. It was organ music and right, right, like right. a choir singing. I love that shit. So that's when we started playing like one mass a month. That all the younger people would start coming to that mass because they wanted. It. I mean, even even that music was like. What they consider contemporary worship music is not all that contemporary, you know. Yeah, it's, it's still it's still got that old folks rock sound to it, but it's better than organ music. Uh, actually, old like hymns with organs and choirs, dude. That shit is untoppable, I, dude. That you're shit right. Is sick. I, that, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's amazing. Uh, a small church organ and choir Fuck is yeah. really nasty sometimes. I love it. 
Uh, okay, I, I I I dare you to go to my my old church and been, listen to their I, I organ to and church, church uh, organ and choir. Pro- probably a year and a half ago, we went to your old church. That's right, you did. I forget Greg's Catholic. As fuck. Yeah. As <laughs> <That's> fuck. <laughs> but um, well, yeah, that's about all the guilty pleasures I got. You guys want to throw anything in at the last second? I got one, but it's so guilty that I almost don't want to say it. You better now. You, you Hawthorne can't... Heights. Hot. Ooh. What's I can't make it up. My ah! I, <laughs> That's exactly how that guy sound. A, Dude, you know he's what? dead, actually. Ashley, Ashley loves that song, ah! and like, we'll li- that's another road trip song we'll listen to. And I sing the whole thing like, like that. And hey there. Yeah, yeah. I, and it's hilarious to me. I, I don't mean to mo- knock that song. I actually like that song. No, that's a shit song. But they have, they have a lot of really, but cool songs. I, I love, I love singing it like that because it's just so like, I want you so to that corny out. ass. Nope. That's staying in, man. Staying in. You threw it out there. I'm talking about like I wasn't ashamed to say like <laughs> Michelle Branch or Justin Bieber, but, but you like, were ashamed like, to Don't say Hawthorne Heights. Anyone, like, no, because that's that's a fucking shit. You already thing said, to like. You also said Pierce the Veil already, so D- not the same. You mm, worse, I think. There's a, there's a lot of Pierce the Veil you haven't heard because if you heard it, you would love it. No, you want uh, bet? I think I think Larry's <laughs> right on this one, dude. Uh, he would love. Like they're fucking. They're real fast, and we'll see. I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> that that guy died from he yeah. OD'd on antidepressants, which is actually for being in Hawthorne Heights, sort of funny. That's like a super ironic way right. to die, right? <laughs> you know that one the, the music video for one of their songs. There's a part where like there's a chord rings out, and that's what he does. He goes, Wah! and then the, while that's happening in the video, someone throws like a hot cup of coffee in his face, and he's like. <laughs> It's so fucking funny. That's hysterical. That's actually in the music video? I swear to God. They're owning it. I'll, I'll check Give it out. No, check it out. Uh, what's the video? I don't know. One of them songs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. I don't know. They're all the same. It's yeah. about hearts. <laughs> hearts? In Nikki Ohio. FM. Ohio. It's in, uh, in Nick, the Nikki <laughs> FM video. Okay. All right. Man, dude, it's fucking hysterical. Right? When you see it, you'll, you're going to lose it. <laughs> I'll check. I'm, I'm going to... I literally will look it up right when we're done recording here. Good, because I want to see how, how much you laugh. <laughs> All right, well, I'd say that was a, that was a pretty good one. Um, yeah, I, I can't think. Of, yeah, I, do you have anything else here in chatting of? Yeah, I mean, but it's it's not necessarily music. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about just shit we've done that we're not psyched about. You know, sometimes I dress like a, a pony. Yeah. yeah. What? How? I'm, I'm just joking. We're talking about. No, he's guilt. not. <laughs> but he's for yeah. real. <laughs> It's on the internet now. Yeah. It's on the and you know Forever. what he does? He's walking around ponied out going, <laughs> <laughs> All right, later. Hey, thanks for tuning in to episode four Crucial Tunes. Uh again, journey into comics dot com. And one more time, uh here is Anguish with the song Gut Feeling. You can find them at Facebook slash Anguish Music or Gut Feeling is Anguish dot bandcamp dot com. Thanks. Bye.
zero sum game to the nth decimal Smash your idols off their ivory pedestals I'm sure you got your line of reasoning Me, I got several Disregard your 16 bars Refuse to keep schedules We all land beat, but you're charged local Mine's considered federal Can't help but speak guttural Designed to abstract to attack literal I'd expect most of your position in the depth react visible <laughs> It's a gut feeling None of y'all is real feelings Besides it's too revealing Fuck your frail feelings So forgive me as I linger Use tongue to produce shivers Ain't impressed by mere shimmers Stand the crest of flooded rivers Revive the dormant temples Touched by three fingers Empires reduced to smoldering cinders Re-enter an atmosphere Saturated with fear Frustrated by the drones who attempt to adhere Normalcy was never revered Weed out the insincere Clear visions produced to sheer Multitudes produced to tears Amplitude oscillates as this rhythm change gears This type of expertise only achieved with years You somehow come off this cavalier Yeah Call this a gut feeling None of y'all is real villains Besides it's too revealing Fuck your frail feelings Hey guys, Deadpool here. Just wanted to tell you about a little event that's happening on March 23rd. Fun for Funs, it's a Journey into Comics Network event. Featuring live podcasts from Brews with Dudes, Podcastrophy, Dungeons with Dudes, and Journey into Comics. As well as performances by band number one, Boner Jovi. Ooh, that sounds fun. Walk Among Us, Yesterday's Chips. Also featuring live stand-up by comedian Patrick Murray. He's so much fun. Presented by Journey into Comics Network and the Doom Room. North and Pub, Lafayette, Indiana. Doors for three. Podcasts at four with bands at 7.30. $10. It's 21 and up. Don't try to sneak in, you silly kids. <laughs>